We're going to talk about complex numbers today. Complex numbers are when we have real and imaginary numbers together. A complex, complex number in standard form is a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. So we're going to use red highlight for real parts of the complex number and then the yellow for the imaginary part. So the first thing we look at is the equality of complex numbers. And remember, if you're watching this, you should be taking notes, just like if we were in class. So the equality of complex numbers means this real part 5x, so we have 5x minus 20i is equal to 35 plus yi. Well, the real part has to equal the real part of the other side. So we get 5x, um, hold on, messed that up. We get 5x equals 35, so x equals 7. And then we have our imaginary part, negative 20i equals yi. Well, negative 20i equals yi. I can divide by i, so I really can just ignore the i part here. And negative 20 equals y, so we've just found what x and y are. So here's another example, 9 plus 4yi equals 3x minus 8i. Okay, this is a good time to pause the video, figure it out yourself, and then watch me do it. So here's my real parts, 9 and 3x. So 9 has to equal 3x, so x has to equal 3. Then I have my imaginary parts, 4yi equals negative 8i. So 4y has to equal negative 8. Like I said before, we can leave the i off because they both have it, and I'm just going to divide both sides by i anyways, and divide by 4, so y is equal to negative 2. The next thing we're going to look at is adding and subtracting. complex numbers. And it's just like adding up like terms. We'll add the imaginary parts together. So we have 2 plus 9i plus 11 minus i. So my real parts are the 2 and the 11. So 2 plus 11 gives me 13. Let's do that, 13. And then I have my imaginary parts, 9i plus negative i gives me plus 8i, because 9i minus 1i gives me 8i. And that's my final answer. And we have 13 plus 4i minus 8 plus 4i. So my real are my 13 and 8. And let's pay attention to the sign. We're doing 13 minus 8, which is 5. And then 4i minus 4i. So it's 4i minus 4i. Right? So we combine our real, we combine our complex, our imaginary part. And that is 0i. So my final answer here is just 5. And how about 16 minus 13 plus 6i plus 8i? Well, now I have a negative in front of that parentheses, or I'm subtracting that whole thing. So I'm going to distribute that negative and make it minus 13 minus 6i plus the 8i. And now I can combine my real. 16 minus 13 is one of these days I'm going to not do that. Uh, 3, and then we have negative 6i plus 8i, which is plus 2i. So 3 plus 2i is my final result there. So we're basically add the real and add the imaginary parts. Part C is multiplying.
And remember that i is defined as the square root of negative 1. And we talked about i squared. i squared is the square root of negative 1 squared, which equals negative 1. So i squared equals negative 1. Every time we see i squared, we need to replace it with a negative 1. So my first example is 15i times negative 1 plus 2i. And we multiply just like we would with variables. We distribute and combine like terms when we're done. So 15i times negative 1 is negative 15i. And 15i times 2i is positive 30i squared. And remember we said i squared equals negative 1. So this becomes 30 times negative 1. And so we write the the real number first, it's a plus bi, so real, and then we write imaginary. So the negative 30 is going to be first, minus 15i. And don't go back and refactor that, the point was to multiply it out. And 4 minus 12i is 11 plus 8i. So now we're getting into a like a binomial times a binomial, complex number times a complex number, and we need to either use FOIL, that's your first, 4 times 11 is 44, your outside, 4 times 8i is 32i, your inside, negative, one, negative 12i times 11 is negative 132i. And then your last is tw negative 12i times 8i, which is negative 96i squared. And then I can combine my like terms here. I have negative 100i. I squared equals negative 1, so negative 96 times negative 1 is positive 96, and then plus the 44, which is also the like term, and that's 140 minus 100i. So FOIL is one method, and then you can also use the vertical multiplication that I like as well. I'm going to give you the same answer. We're going to do 8i, oops, 8i times negative 12i gave us negative 96i squared. We're going to do 8i times 4 gives me 32i. We're going to do 11 times negative 12i, which is negative 132i. And then we're going to do 11 times 4 gives me 44. And I get 44 minus 100i. And then remember, negative 1, so plus 96, and I end up with 140 minus 100i, just like if I did FOIL. So those are two methods for multi multiplying. Okay, you don't have to do both, you're just picking one. 